Okay, what I've done is taken a piece of plastic and drawn a part on that plastic. We're going to run the program and you'll see the tool follow the lines of our part. So we'll run the program in single mode and let's just watch what happens. I have tool number seven called up right now. We're going to start the program and it will index to tool number one and tool number three. Here it goes down. Tool number seven is there. Going to tool number three. There's tool number three. So now I'm going to bring tool number three into position. But first we're going to cut on the RPMs. So 1,000 RPMs. This thing's having a hard time focusing. Coming down, I'm going to stop 100 thousandths above the part. We're a hundred thousandths left of Z of X and zero. Remember X and Y zero reference is at the corner of the part there. The one hundred thousandths to the left of that. Now it's going to go down in Z. Now it's going to move over at 12 inches per minute to point number two, which is X five inches. Notice we are on the Y zero line. Spend the list turning at a thousand RPMs, but for some reason the video doesn't pick that up. It looks like it's going in slow motion, but it is moving right at fast. So at point two, we're going to continue in the GL1 mode and go down to Y minus four inches to point three. Still moving at a rate of 12 inches per minute. Point three, we're going to move over to X zero, we're staying at the Y minus two, continuing at a feed rate of 12 inches per minute. The left edge of the part is X zero in this instance. When it reaches point four, the next thing it's going to do, it's going to move to Y positive point one. It's going to stay on the X zero line. It will move up above the X, I mean the Y zero line, 100 thousandths above that. Stopped, hard to see it, but it's a hundred thousandths above that line. So now it's going to move up three inches above the part. It's a Z positive three inches. Stop the spindle. M30 recess it to beginning, and we can run it again. We're going to run it again, and this time we're going to do it in full automatic mode. I'm not going to do single block, so watch it as it goes. Here it goes. It's already at 2 3, so you won't see it indexing again. When it gets to point 2, Zero line. It's going to go up 
to a Y of positive 100 thousandths and then come up to the Z three inches above the part. And there it is. I'm going to make a minor adjustment in the program. I'm going to go to the Z on line 5 and we'll make that a minus 200 thousandths. And let's run it again and let's see what happens. So here it goes. I'm going to run it in full mode. There you have it, a part completed from that simple little program we did. Thank you.